Chinese water deer are fascinating creatures. They're a curiosity to most people, and especially hunters who come from all over the world to the southeast of England to shoot one. One such hunter with a true passion for deer of all varieties is Kai's Norwegian friend Johan, better known as Trigger. He is a world authority on farming red deer and runs the Norwegian Red Deer Centre on the island of Svanoy. As a thank you for all the fun Kai's had over there, he's returning the favour over here with some help from CWD aficionado Paul Childerly. I've seen Chinese water deer in a zoo and pictures, and I Google it a lot, but uh, this will be the first time free range I try to get one with my camera, and yeah. hopefully I succeed shooting one. Kai, have you been after Chinese? I've never been after Chinese, but Trigger's done a lot for me over the past few years, so we've been out reindeer shooting, moose, seal, we've done the red, red. hinds down with, with you, so it's a, you know I wanted to give something back to Trigger. I've never done one yet, I will do in the future, no doubt, but I'm going to have just as much enjoyment watching Trigger take his first Chinese. Hopefully, Ho fingers, hopefully. We'll see. fingers crossed. We'll see. No guarantees. They look big in the field, but I've just seen two dead inside and they're very small. <laughs> 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 so I shot a few Muntjaks before and uh, on the field they looked bigger, far bigger, yeah. but uh, inside they looked smaller. So yeah. <laughs> really uh, what I'm uncertain about would be like if I can judge the distance. So that's why it's very good to have with some people who knows this, used yeah. to shoot them, because that's where normally things, when it goes wrong, is either you pull the trigger wrong or you misjudge the distance, yeah. which will be important to know. So this will be very interesting. Trigger is going to use Paul's good. estate yeah. rifle, very the Seiko 85 in 243. Almost like mine. Very light and exact, precise. There's nothing... A rifle is more of a professional tool for them both, and Trigger has hunted all over the world. And calibre? A 243. 243, good. Yeah. That's 6mm. Yeah. yeah, flat. 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 Yeah. So it's a zero that is steered half an inch high at 100. The plan is to go for a cull animal, but Paul has been told by one of his keepers that he's spotted a deer with a heavy limp, so this could be a suitable animal for Trigger to remove. Joining us today is professional photographer Ben Bull of Country Shot Photography. He's done a great deal of game days but never a stalk, so it's a first for Trigger and for Ben. The ground is flat in this part of the world and stalkers need to take care. Paul assesses the female Chinese water deer. She is limping badly. We just need her in a safe shooting position. The right one. Yeah. Tim David? Okay. Reload. Okay. 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 Safety on. These people. <laughs> they know. Don't, don't even know. <laughs> they don't understand. They don't even know. They don't even know we've done that. This is a bit different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you fear are used to people. Yeah. And um, you see, those people didn't even know what didn't even know that was still going on. Yeah. Um, obviously, we were shooting away from them, so it's safe. Yeah. But obviously, we had a chance to take the animal before it got away, or got in front of them, or got got in a dangerous area. So exactly. Um, it's a good one to get. Well done. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Good one to get. Yes. Uh, injured one. Injured one. So injured well one. Done. Good start. Road, road penalty. Yeah, right. Broken, broken, broken the leg, yeah. is it? She's still getting around, okay? Yeah. Yeah, and this one is completely stiff, yeah, completely so it's yeah, old. It's an old, very old damage. Not too bad, yeah. but it was a little angle. Oh. It's, <laughs> it's a big rabbit, but <laughs> cool. But first, first of all, I mean, I'm really excited about being here in a place where I see this or stalk this for the first time of my life but with people all around this is new to me I mean people are walking with the dogs all around us cars are passing 
we're kind of in a very crowded place on Earth, very unlike my place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. still stalking, yeah. which is yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Around us, over all that, there are also men. In a situation like this, consideration for all is paramount. The dog walkers are just yards away, but well out of harm's way. Paul is careful to keep disturbance to a minimum. Ideal for this sort of thing is obviously a good moderator, so it keeps it nice and quiet. Um, we've got the, the stun on, on the 243 here. We literally shot the, shot the animal up the field about 150 uh, yards away, and uh, there was somebody walking up the footpath beside us. I didn't even know it happened. So that, that's just perfect, just, what, just the result we wanted. Um, and now they're looking in the middle of the field thinking, why are those guys out there crop walking? <laughs> so yeah, ideal. He has his first Chinese, and another deer species knocked off his wish list. Yeah, this was number, species number 14. So I'm happy with us. Right, Thank you very much. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Before we lose the light, Paul offers Kai, who is starting to sweat a bit, another deer for Trigger. To take his mind off it, the two Shooter King brand ambassadors pose for some shots. What a handsome duo. We eventually get on to a young male that Paul would like taken off the ground. Okay. Second CVD, not bad. But the other one we didn't shoot because it was too big and Kai couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a successful few hours and we have plenty of meat in the chiller, plus a few trophies by some of Paul's other clients who have been out on his ground today. They are smaller than the Reds Trigger is used to, but many would say better eating. Yeah. Anyway, you be the judge. If you'd like to find out more about stalking Chinese water deer with Paul, go to childerlysporting.co.uk. And if you'd like to see more of Ben's work, visit countryshot.co.uk.